Hey guys, Jimbo Abin here, and today what I have for you is the top 10 decks for June 2015. Uh, so pretty much for each of these decks, a link will be in the description if you guys want to have a deck profile for them. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get it started. So first of all, we have Yoshin decks. Uh, these decks are pretty good, uh, because you got, like, the Pendiculum Yoshin, and then, of course, you have, like, the normal Yoshin, which is pretty cool. So you have, like, pretty cool things that Yoshin decks can do, uh, and, uh, yeah, they're definitely really annoying. They deal a lot of damage, and you pretty much get a lot of Yoshin cards, uh, with all, like, the Karma Yoshin, uh, cards, like, uh, effects and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. And they're definitely really hard to deal with. Uh, up next we have uh, Sylvan. These decks are really annoying. Uh, they're just all about like pretty much just having these really cool like level uh, pretty much seven Sylvan cards that pretty much just do like a lot of stuff. They like have effects when cards are sent. For instance, this card to the graveyard. Uh, uh, it has like a million effects. It has just tons of cool effects. Uh, and they're really annoying. Uh, then next we have uh, Six Samurai. This deck has been just doing like bouncing around doing really well uh after April the first because they I believe they let the card name Sheen or some sort of card similar to that like similar to that name or something like that. Uh pretty much they uh they got him from being banned to two, which is really sweet. Uh so yeah, he's just such a cool card. And um uh yeah, just because that the the six samurai has been just doing so well uh, then what we have next is we have Shadow Dolls. These things are so annoying. They added some new uh, Shadow Doll uh, fusion monsters, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're just really OP in general, and they're really, really annoying uh, to pretty much deal with and stuff like that. So much special summoning uh, fusion monsters and stuff like that, so it's really annoying. Uh, next we have uh, uh, Quill Forts. These are so annoying. You got, like, uh, pretty much... Uh, the normal style, well, you pretty much have only, like, one set, uh, Pendiculum style of cool forts, but just because, like, you can use skill drain and stuff like that, and make these cool forts, like, uh, fast speed negated and stuff like that, they're just really good in general, and they just do a ton of damage, which is overpowered. Uh, up next we have Grave Keepers, these guys are pretty cool, uh, just having Necrova in the field makes it, like, so annoying for your opponent and stuff like that. It pretty much wrecks completely, it wrecks elemental, uh, heroes or mask heroes completely. Uh, actually, uh, actually, Mask Heroes completely, uh, because, like, uh, Dark Law is pretty much wrecked just because of that, uh, because, uh, you can, like, Dark Law's effect would move cards from the graveyard, banish, but because of Necro in the field, it pretty much negates his effect, so it's definitely a really good card. Up next, we have Gem Knights. These have been doing really, really well after they made a new Gem Knight fusion card, which is really amazing. Uh, and some new OCG Gem Knight cards. It's just been doing really well. The cards are just really amazing. Um, and they're just really good. Uh, next we have, uh, Mermelin, uh, Mermelin Abyss, I believe, uh, pretty much Mermelin slash Abyss, Mermelin cards or whatever, uh, it's like a deck, the combination of two. They're really annoying, because, like, you pretty much use the combination of Mermelin and Abyss in a deck, and you pretty much use all the good stuff from each, and, uh, yeah, you just get such a, such a good deck in general that does a lot of damage and stuff like that, which is really annoying. Uh, and that has pretty cool effects. Uh, up next we have, uh, pretty much Mask Heroes. They're really annoying. They, they just started coming out because of, uh, well, they've been out for a while. But, of course, because of form change and, uh, all the mass change cards and stuff like that, they, they're just really good in general. You got some really sweet cards, and they're just really, really good. Uh, and then finally we have Evil Swarm. Evil Swarms are pretty good. I believe they introduced some new Evil Swarm cards and spells and stuff like that, uh, which has definitely been, uh, the, which has definitely pretty much made Evil Swarms much better to pretty much play and stuff like that. And it's brought them back to life in Evil Swarms because I haven't seen a lot of people play Evil Swarms before. But then, like, uh, like in this month, I've seen a lot of people play Evil Swarms, which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, so like I said before, guys. Uh, if you guys want to pretty much try out one of these decks, a link to each of those decks will be in the description uh, below, so make sure to check that out. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to Jim Bob and Cap Network for a 70% membership, guys. But that's going to be it, guys. This has been Jim Bob, and I'll see you guys later.